What's up guys and welcome to Mr. Survival. It's been a while since I get these uh, Mr. Survivals out because all the multiplayer goodness. Um, seems like people are happy with them so I'm going to keep releasing them. Uh, I released part 5 yesterday and there are three more that we've already recorded and then uh, I'll, we probably might just do one more just to wrap it up because we pretty much conquer the island already. I don't want to spoil it too much but that's how it is. I mean the challenge is mainly gone from it. So we are on the lookout for some more awesome survival things so if anybody knows anything cool then I guess we could try it. So we, we were thinking about maybe some uh, skyblock or something. Anyway this texture pack I've also used it in the which we call it in the uh, other map. It is a highly requested texture pack. However, I am not going to put the link in the description, like I didn't do it yesterday either, because it's a Dropbox link, and I don't want to get that person's limit. You know, reach that person's limit in Dropbox. I mean, uh, it's called Masher Asher. Hold on, let me just quickly check and see what it's called. Alright, it's called Asher Madden, and it's a mix between Doku Craft and Jerry Doku or something. And there's a zombie. Anyway, I'm gonna go sleep real quick and pass the night. Good morning. So, alright, let's head down. Uh, I had some time, of course, because I've been away from this map to think about, you know, some kind of new stuff to do. Well, sorry, I just looked out that window. Yeah, that tree made it look like it was nighttime. Anyway, so I was thinking about some more future building projects. Um, and I was thinking like a big building somewhere. Of course, we do need to build a statue or something there, but so far I haven't had any recommendations. So I don't know what you would build a big statue of, right? I mean, or could we just make, maybe should just make like an obelisk? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll do that. I'll make an obelisk of sandstone. So that means I'll need a lot of sand. Um, you know, in the comments, just say, yeah, make the obelisk. So a big pointy thing, like a big spike out of sandstone. Um, and if you have a better idea or alternatives or whatever, just let me know about them. But I guess I'll go with the obelisk, which means I'll need a lot of sand. And for that, I'm not going to go around to these little lakes that are all over the place. I'm thinking I'll just run over to way down there. If I remember correctly, that was actually a desert down there. So that should be all right. Let's eat some zombie flesh. Oh, yeah, I'm poisoned now. I'm going to toss this one away. There's no reason to... Hold on, let me see what it looked like. Yeah, it looked like I'm drunk. Anyway... So, let's see, um, this farm, yeah, to test it out, I could have just planted maybe one, and then just bone milled it, and then flushed it, but I do kind of want this farm to grow, and it's slowly growing, if you look at it, little pieces every once in a while, they pop up, so that's good, I'll come back to it, and I can make a ton more, uh, bread, anyway, I had this other idea for now, cobblestone, is this all I have? What I felt like doing, or what I thought maybe was a cool idea, was basically build a roof or building around this hole. So it, so it becomes like a, an excavation site or something, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's going to be a big, just a big square with a flat roof, and maybe it'll have like something cool on the roof. I'm not sure, but I think that will be a fun little project uh, just to you know, spread out my village and the grass is waving. Whee! I like that. It's it's cool. Anyway, I'm alright. How do you guys like this, this texture pack? <laughs> words. All them words. How do you like this texture pack? I like it, except for one thing. The cobblestone, uh, I like it better when the cobblestone looks like bricks instead of cobbles like this. I know cobblestone is cobbles, but I like the brick thing better, just as a texture, because in it, because I use it a lot. It's a very common material. But anyway, 
I'll just switch around and stuff. I, the rest of this texture pack looks really good though. Like all of it. All right, let's see. I think I'll just grab a bunch more cobblestone. And I'll just start laying out the foundations and I'm able to do some time lapses. We the ice. Ice looks different in every texture pack as well. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It's just a thing that happens. All right, so here we go. Alright, so I think this is a decent size for now. I don't want it to make uh, anything too crazy nutsy type, although this kind of is. And you're wondering like, why there's no door or anything. That's alright, I don't want to make a door. I want to make a kind of steppy thingy up to it. So, do I have any steps? No, but I can make some steps right there. Uh, just some stairs. Da -da 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 -da. I probably need more. Four. Let's just go nuts with piles of cobblestone. There we go. Uh, there. That is good. A bunch of stairs. Probably way too much, actually. But, um, yeah. Let's see. Mm. Whoops. Why is that? Why is that the way it is? Why are all things in life the way they are? Uh, so, here. And then uh, what I'll probably do is out to the side like this. And here we go. Let's. What the? Something is oddly odd. Something is not going the way I'd like it to go all the time. Which is very frustrating and make babies cry. But yeah. Alright, so here's the way in. Um. Uh, and and think of it like you know the place where they find dinosaur bones, or where they find a hammer of Thor and they build this big thing around it. I know in Thor there was a big. Uh, dang it! I didn't want to fall down into the hole. In Thor they made a big tent actually, but uh, and probably dinosaur excavations they make tents as well. But I want to do like a um, excavation type area, if you know what I mean. Kind of like whatever this cave system has to be protected from the outside if you know what I mean kinda not really of course it doesn't really have to be protected just pretend alright let's see I can probably do something funky with some upside down stair pieces gotta be careful vigilant in here alright here we go upside down stair pieces to the rescue what in the Am I not on the right version of Minecraft, or did I just hit it wrong? Yeah, there we go. That is good. Could probably put a regular block back in here. Yeah, that works. I can find my way out. Here it is. Look, it's a little archway. Hee <laughs> hee. Cute. Hee <laughs> hee. Lol. Laugh. Har. Okay. So here's the way up. And then that means I will need to make a kind of entrance type thing here. Um, and what I probably do is make it come down here. How are we doing for time? Sun is setting, which is what damn suns do all the damn time. Uh, right, so like this. At least now I can get in and out without, you know, crazy jumpy jumpy action and put some torches up oh yeah and by the way it's a bit windy right now at my house I don't know if you can hear it but every once in a while the wind's just blowing shit over so ignore that if you hear it I think actually some of that stuff happened during my time lapse so I'll just put music over it and you won't hear it 
so yeah let's see what should I do with lighting on this end I need to put something here anyway uh, no this no all right screw it I can't think of anything uh, actually you know what that does work I think like this I'm going to torch on it that kind of works that works out for me all right let's go in and catch a quick shut eye put a torch there all right good night snow bros see you in the morning and we're back all right let's see how it's going the farm is growing nicely there are some parts actually yellow that is also one positive thing for this texture pack in that you know in some texture packs i've had it before where you cannot tell wheat is always yellow and you cannot tell when it's fully grown uh oh there's a creeper there should i attack him i'm going to attack him even though he's quite smart holy crap 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 what is the power I have on this again? On the sword? Sharpness. Does that just mean damage? Does that do more damage? Or, or how does that work? I'm always a bit confused about the different names of the powers. Like efficiency. Apparently that just means quickness or speed. So yeah. I would have called it speed. But apparently it's efficiency like sharpness I just call it damage like because it gives you more damage it damages is more all right anyway no worries don't worry about it okay uh, right I do need to work on the upper levels what I want to do kind of I think hold on I thought I saw some. there we go there's a creeper in there I'll let him be for now Alright, what I want to do now is build this up a little bit higher, but not too much. And maybe if I can, I want to integrate or include a couple other various materials. And then I want to stick a roof on it, and then cover that whole roof with mostly um, half slabs of some sort. Because mobs won't spawn on half slabs. And it'll just be a roof... Um, like it doesn't have to, uh, you know, stuff thing. It doesn't need to. What the hell, are the words I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, you don't need to. You don't ever need to go up on that roof because uh, I really can't. Can't find the right words that I want to use. It doesn't need to be a functional place to get onto that roof thing. Like it's fine if nobody ever goes up there. I just don't want mobs going up there. If you know what I mean so that that's that and I just thought of something what if I got a tunch of glass and put in glass all the way around there that'd be kinda cool and then I just put one more layer of stone kinda like this around the whole edge and fill it up with glass yep but first maybe that's something I can do right now is I go make a run for the desert and you know what maybe I'll just speed that up too Okay, we finally made it. I am starving to death. Uh, obviously, I forgot how huge this snow biome is that I'm in. Uh, but I'm finally here. And then I realized that I will need more shovel if I'm here to get a bunch of sand. So, I'm going to find my quick shelter. Here it is. My little home. Get out of the way. 
There we go. Two porks. Not bad. All right, let's make. I guess we're making stone shovels. That's all I. That's all I managed to bring. Four stone shovels. And they'll go really fast. And you back here. So there's a desert. Is there another desert on that side, or is there only? Did I remember that wrong? I guess. I guess there's only a desert on this end, which is fine. Let's go level that desert the way we level mountains. And I have no idea if I'm going over time with my episodes. Just because the time lapses really throw my timing off. I have no way of knowing if this is going to be a 15 minute video or a half an hour minute video or whatever. So just uh, bear with me. I know some of you don't mind the long videos, but I've heard some people say that if they're really long, then they're just really long, and then they don't have time to watch them because they got more important stuff to do, which I totally understand. Technically, I have more important stuff to do, too. You know what I'll do? I'll just time-lapse a bunch of sand getting. Alright, so that's the end of my last shovel. I've got a fair bit of sand, so I'm going to go run home now. And uh, depending on the time, I'll end the episode here. So I'll see you next time. Or I'll just run home and see if I've got time for that. Alrighty guys, well, we're home again after an episode filled with a bunch of time lapses. So at this point I have no lo no idea how long it's going to be, but it'll be alright. It'll be alright, we'll be okay. Look at all the sand we got, so, and a bunch of pork on the way. I saw them and I just couldn't resist. So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.